That's why I watch the movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me get one. Let me get one. Did I actually get one? People throw it at you. I want one too. Thank you, King. Quiet on set. Quiet on set. Quiet on set. <laughs> film, film is like one of the um, few pillars of our friendship. We'll all take trips to the arc light together and buy like a whole row. And it'll be like us and a bunch of, of our like extended friends and family like watching a movie together. And we'll go back to our house and we'll talk about it. Or we'll have like movie nights at one of our houses and everybody will just hang on the living room. And it's really fun watching movies with everyone because um, there's like a live commentary that goes on. And we'll like assign characters to each other as like a joke and we'll be like, oh, HK, that's you, you're that character or like things like that. And it, it develops like a, a close bond, a lot of inside jokes and it's just, oh, it's fun. That commentary is my favorite part. The commentary is my favorite part. It, 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 it actually makes every movie better. It's so many different worlds that you can live in and I, I thought, I don't know, stories are really like the medium that I want to live in. When we first moved to South Central, we watched like every movie ever made in South Central. Yeah. Not the best setup though. Yeah, we were living in South Central at one point. There was like air mattresses in one room and there was just a TV. You know the old school big screen TVs? Or, like, sitting on the side of like a dumpster and the, the sun had warped the screen. It was ridiculous. Totally yeah, we'd watch movies on that and it was on my room. I saw the TV. <laughs> I put it in my room. <laughs> and then everybody got mad. <laughs> Paul Thomas Anderson once said, like, when you leave the movie, he doesn't always remember the plot, but he definitely remembers how the movie made him feel. And that's something I like to apply to, like, you know, the way I experience films. I love Paul Thomas Anderson. Yes, you do. Boogie Nights is the greatest movie ever. Boogie Nights. Nice. Once Upon a Time Once in Hollywood was, was Once great. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, you definitely leave with, like, this mood, you know? And I think that's amazing. Whenever. I do anything creatively, I'm always trying to build a world that's bigger than music or just a video, you know? So there's, there's always some sort of universe that we're adding pieces to constantly. What movie did we make Bari watch when we were going to make some <laughs> I hated that movie. You, you were the only person that didn't like it. That was crazy. We were living in South Central. We were trying to like, we were on the come up trying to figure out how to get people to pay attention to it. So we decided to um, start like this YouTube series where Jabari would watch a movie and he would review it. It was never the worst videos time. Out, but the first movie we watched was Split and he hated the movie. And he refused. <laughs> he didn't want to film the movie. He, was, he, gave, he gave me, I was filming it on my iPhone, like in the theater, like not, or filming him, trying to get a review and he just, he wouldn't, he was not trying to give me any kind of attention. It was a bad episode. When you guys all watched Baby Driver, that was crazy too. Oh, Baby Driver. Oh yeah, Baby Driver. Am, we like so. came back and then we made all, like six That's times. also one thing, sometimes we'd watch a movie, or I'd watch a movie like eight times in theaters and yeah. I'd be so obsessed with it that it would find its way into the music videos for the album. Just so like yeah. the gummy video by Brock Hampton is inspired by uh, Baby Driver. Definitely that was a huge influence. Like the musicality um, of that movie and like the choreography of everything, like definitely like tied into how we like were shooting those music videos and stuff like that. And a lot of Arizona Babe was inspired by us yep. and Jordan Peele in general. Like the uh, Georgia video and well, just not even the specific videos, but like the, the philosophy tone. behind yeah, the Yeah, tone and like the way things felt. Oh yeah, America Honey inspired <laughs> the aspect ratio and <laughs> all the saturation videos. Because we saw it in theaters and I just loved how like personal it felt with like the game box off. And so that's, that's why our shit looks like that. We can curse, right? Oh, um, the Florida Project stuck with me a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sean Baker is so good. Though. And Tangerine. A lot of it was handheld too, a lot of our stuff. Spike Jones too. Of course, Spike. For iridescence, we did that with uh, Akira. And I kept telling them to put perfect blue on repeat and no one did it. It was on for so long. Yeah, it was on for a minute. I've probably watched it five times with no sound. I've never seen that movie. You definitely pointed out what the hell is on the screen multiple times. And I was like, that's Akira. Hey, don't let them tell you what you saw, bro. It's your eyes. <laughs> Since we travel a lot, 
always watching whatever they have on on planes. But, and for some reason, movies hit different. They hit different. Oh, for sure. They hit on, so different on the plane planes. sometimes. I watched Love, Simon on the plane. I cried. Yeah, the Janis Joplin documentary made me cry on the plane. Most I was like, MIA holy shit. The, plane, dude, that was amazing. the MIA documentary on the plane was fire. I watched The Dark Knight on my last flight. And I was like, wow, this movie is insane. Because I hadn't seen it in years. He was molded by the darkness. I was merely a dark. That's the Dark Knight Rises, not the Dark Knight, bro. Dark Knight is where Heath Ledger's Joker. Hey, I just want, I just <laughs> want, want to clarify. Yeah. Y'all annoying as hell. Oh, 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 oh. I would love to score films. It'd be amazing. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to make rap music forever. I don't want to like make beats when I'm 50. You know what I mean? I'd love to score movies. So, Hans yeah. Zimmer, Dark Knight, that shit. Yeah, Philip Glass. Danny bro. Elfman is a great composer. Uh, Trent Reznor, Atticus Ross. Trent Reznor. Trent, Trent Reznor. Reznor. The, the, the scores he does for uh, David Fincher films. Oh. Go. Go. One of my dreams is to score a Godfrey Reggio film with Philip Glass. Be like. Philip Glass. Give me that game changer. Speaking Super of uh, movie scores, big shout out to John Bryan, the GOAT. Oh my God. Who worked his way into hip hop as well. Yes, and pop music, Kanye West, Fiona Apple. Mm -hmm. yeah, Speak on it, Ken. Mac Miller, yes, Mac Miller's last record. Ludwig sort of did the same thing too, right? Did Y'all remember it? Follows. I really love that. Yo, Disaster oh. Piece. Yo. We need to when we want to make a feature length film. There's already something written. A friend of ours wrote something and like, he's trying to figure it out. We didn't release the saturation film, which ended up being Billy Star, because uh, it just wasn't strong enough. And we knew we could do better. We can do better, and we will do better. It was a pretty ambitious project to want to make a feature length film. We just watched like it recently, that. it was terrible. I just watched it recently, <laughs> I remember watching it recently, and I've been watching all the Oceans movies, Oceans 11 and 12. Why? Just because I saw uh, Once Upon a Time and I want to see more Brad Pitt. Yeah, that's about right. And I just realized that like, whatever the saturation movie was, was definitely like correlated to like Oceans 11. I don't know if y'all ever seen it, but. Everything is connected though. I would like to be a gaffer. Show me the ropes. <laughs> <laughs> the, the wires. Show me the wires. I just never heard you say I've never heard you say the word gaffer. Crazy. Would I gaff in, in these slippers? I would. Wait, is it safe? No, you gotta have close toe shoes. Safety first. Underrated movies Paprika, Perfect Blue, Science of Sleep. Low key, like Citizen Kane is like a, a like a overrated movie, but underrated in the sense of like no one in our generation has watched that shit. Dope movie to watch. Boyhood. I was about to say that's probably like one of my favorites. So like concept wise, I don't know if it's my favorite coming of age film, but like the concept is so incredible. My favorite coming of age. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Punctuation crazy. <laughs> hold up, bro. Hold up. My favorite coming of age movie is Lady Bird. Oh, Lady Bird's Fire movie. Lady Bird is fire. People really don't consider the social network a coming of age movie, but it kind of is. Because it's like that person, you, like, that person's coming of age to a place yeah. where they're not perfect. Me, Earl the Dying Girl is oh, a great movie. Oh, yeah. You know, I'm going to dial it back. You know, it's kind of a, li a lighthearted one, but it's special to me, the new guy. I love that movie, bro. When they set the rope on fire, that shit's hilarious, bro. Disney Channel Ooh. original where the, guy, where the guy makes a, a twin of himself. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, that's 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 Tyra Banks. Y'all remember Brink, bro? Brink, Brink, was good. Brink was my shit. Shout out Puppin' Suds. Thirteenth. What was the what was the mermaid one? That one's the thirteenth year. Moonlight. The mermaid one, right? Yeah. Oh, Moonlight's incredible. Yeah. Midsummer's fucking insane. Summer was wild. Ooh. That Man, like, that's a, okay. So on? the director of that he did a short film that we all watched together. Oh my, oh my god. god, we watched it in our living room. Oh. Yeah. Wait, was it the reaction? Something strange about the Johnsons. Oh, that's yeah, the same director, bro. Wow, that movie's oh, fucked up. Crazy. Oh my god. We'll, 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 something something strange you know, about the Johnsons. Right now. Wait, <laughs> cut, to <laughs> cut to the trailer. Oh man, you just got, you have to go see man. that. That's one of those things where like, we really can't give you any context. It just smacks you in the face. It's, it's short, like, it's, it's like not an, too long. It's like an American Horror Story episode, but if they went 
all the way with it. Like 14 minutes, right? Short. Not even. It's yeah, shorter it's than super that. short. Yeah, it feels That's actually shocking if it's like the last like the last like five minutes of that movie feel like twenty minutes. It starts on ten the whole time and just consistently goes. Yeah, like immediately on tilt. It like starts it's like title is going on. And like da 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 Within the first thirty five seconds of this movie you know what the fuck's going on and it's fucked for the rest of it. It's insane. To believe it. The best movie of all time to me is uh, Good Time. Uh, best movie, worst movie. That's a that's a really tough question. I'm a I'm a, I'm a pass that over to you. I like Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. That score really stuck with me. Best movie ever, Boogie Nights. Worst movie ever, The Boy Next Door. Wow. <laughs> oh. Oh. She had a really bad movie at one point. Wow. Really like G Lee, remember that? But let me say oh, something. I got, mad, the theaters. I got mad love for Jennifer Lopez. Come on. Forever. Yeah. Like no hate towards her. It's just yo, the, uh, the J Lo sample yeah. in a J-Lo's teenage iconic, fever. But bad movies. Bad movies. Great. Okay. My dad liked this movie a lot. Anger Management with uh, Adam Sandler. That movie's insane, I don't like that movie. bro. I don't like that movie either, man. It's not the worst I movie. I just don't like that movie. It's one of those movies that you kind of got to watch by yourself to get honestly. But though. then I was like, XK. Are you mad at me? What? You're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I watch it. I, I like. I watch it with my dad as a kid, and then I'm be like, and then I watch it again. I was as older. I was like, damn, this is what my dad was into. <laughs> Inside Out. James White. Face Off with John Travolta. That's a good bad movie. Oh, it's just a whole another world of films. Great bad. Movie. And, and the best movie, oh, Selena. Shout out Selena. All right. Niggas used to give me shit for saying this back in the day, but The Dark Knight is still my favorite movie. Oh, my I love the movie. The the music. The Dark Knight. The. I always wanted to be fucking Batman. That's the perfect one. I don't know what would be my worst movie. Probably the J-Lo one. No offense, but I remember going to the, going to the theater to watch that shit. And I mean, it was kind of like a good bad movie because it was really funny the entire time because of how ridiculous it was. Old boy. I was listening to the same fucking shit. So good. So much <laughs> Nigga, have you seen Old Boy, bro? Oh my Old boy god, is that movie's incredible. The yeah, the original. Not that the, movie's the so good. The Spike Lee bro. one is garbage. Huh? Uh, the Spike Lee one is. Oh, terrible. so bad. Yeah, so bad. So bad. So the best. And that's worst yeah, movie yeah. Is Old best, boy. best <laughs> and worst, and worst movie. Yeah. Old Boy. You know? That's 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 a very funny Old Boy. <laughs> worst movie. I really don't fuck with Tropic Thunder. It's like one of those movies that everyone hypes up so much that it makes it the worst movie to be. What, what's that movie they make you watch in school that's like really long? It's the Romeo and Juliet. No, nah, bro. Supersize me. No, bro. It's like, <laughs> you know it's, it's old and it's like a long movie. You be in class like for three days watching this thing. Uh, Gone with the Wind? Bro, it's some old movie, nah, bro. bro. It was it, Romeo, Romeo and Juliet. No, Brad, it's, I think uh, it's Gone Leo. with the Wind. It's like some old movie, bro. Casablanca? Everybody, everybody dies at the end. It's like a Western? Yeah, type of thing. That's my worst movie. I have two in my head, so I'm gonna say both. Virgin Suicides and Space Jam. Hey, LeBron, put us in Space Jam too. I can't even think of the worst movie. I know the movie that made me the most uncomfortable, even though I think it's a good movie, but I hated watching it, was Climax. I love it made me so uncomfortable. I, I can see why I made you. Really Gaspar Noah is just a really uncomfortable director. Yeah, it, it was a great movie, but it was... Like, the last, like, hour of Into the Void is, like, one of the most uncomfortable things I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. yeah. So, my favorite Shia movie is Fury. Mm. Gary's fucking awesome. That's hard. You know what's a good one too? Charlie Country. Charlie Country. Infinity War is better than Endgame. <laughs> I cut.